Welcome to Aki Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an actor in C++ that will orbit. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So to go ahead and begin, we're going to go over to our C++ classes, right click inside of the content browser there, click new C++ class. We're going to make this an actor class. And I'm just going to name mine Orbiter. And then just click Create Class. And then we're going to open it up. And then we're going to go over to our header. The first thing we're going to do is create our orbit function. It's going to be void. We don't want anything returned here. We're just going to be moving the object inside this function. So I'm just going to call it Orbit. The first property is going to be the mesh for our object so that way we can actually see it in the scene. We're going to do U property visible anywhere so that way we're able to actually give it a mesh in the details panel. So again, visible anywhere. And then this is going to be a U static mesh component. And we want it to be a pointer to that component. And then we're just going to call it mesh. And then our next two properties are going to be what allow us to control the speed of our orbit as well as the range of our orbit. So both of these are going to be U properties. And they're both going to be floats. And the first one will be our speed. And then the second one will be our range. And before we actually go over to our CPP, I want to make these edit anywhere. And this will actually allow us to change their values and mess around with its orbit in the scene. So that way you can kind of determine what you're needing for these values. And now we can go ahead and go over to our CPP. We're going to start inside of the constructor. And here we want to create the sub object of our static mesh. And then we also want to attach it to the root of our actor. So we'll go ahead and create it as a sub object. So we're going to do mesh equals create default sub object. And then it's going to be of type u static mesh component. And then the text for it is just going to be mesh. And then we want to take this and attach it to our root. So the way we do that is with mesh and point to attach to and then root component. And that'll just put this mesh at the center of our actor. Now we can go ahead and go down to begin play and we're just going to give defaults to our speed and range. So we're going to go ahead and do speed equals 1.5 and then range equals 5. These numbers can be anything you want them to be. You'll probably end up messing around with these numbers so that way you can find what fits the orbit that you're wanting. And then inside of tick we're actually going to call our orbit function here so that way it's called at every frame and that way our object updates its movement each frame. And now we can go ahead and actually create this function. So again, it's void, and then it's a orbiter is our class. And then the function is orbit with no arguments. And then inside of here, we're just going to be doing two things. The first thing we're going to do is move our actor to its right. And then the next thing we're going to do is rotate it. So that way it goes in a circle, creating an orbit. So in order to move it, we're going to do set actor relative location. And we want to get the current location of our actor. And then to that, we want to add our speed multiplied by our actor's right vector as I want my rotation to go towards the right in relation to the actor. And then we're going to multiply it by the range. 
and the reason we're getting the actor's right vector is so that way we can continuously move it in the right direction by its speed and its range. We need to get the actor's right vector and not just the x direction, because as the player rotates, the actor's x axis in relation to the world is going to change, and so that's why we need to get the right vector so that way our character is constantly going to its right instead of the world's right. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and rotate the actor. So we're gonna do set actor relative rotation. And we wanna get the actor's rotation. And then to this, we wanna add a new F rotator. And we want it to be rotating by its yaw, in other words, the z-axis, so that way it looks like it's facing the center. And as it rotates, our right vector will change, so that way we create a orbit rotation. So we're going to do zero in the pitch, and then we're going to do speed in the yaw, and then zero in the roll. And that's all of the coding that we're going to be doing for this tutorial, so we can go ahead and save. So now we can go ahead and go back to the scene and compile. And now that it's compiled, I'm going to go ahead and drag an orbiter into the scene. And I'm going to attach a cube mesh to it. And then we can go ahead and test and play. And then if you go down and click F8, it takes you out of the character view. And then we can go over to our world outliner and find our orbiter. And then we can actually adjust its orbit in here. So we'll just scroll down until we find our speed and range. And you can adjust the speed this way. If you want it to go in the opposite direction, you can change it to negative. And then if you want to adjust the range so it goes further out, you just scroll that one. And again, you could adjust the speed here as well if you wanted to. So as a recap, we created an actor that has a mesh so we can see it orbiting, and then we adjusted the object's location and rotation with a shared relationship to speed, so that way we could better control our orbit, and we multiplied by a range value so that way we can change the size of the orbit. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch, Tuesday and Wednesday. On top of that, we have our own app on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, and we have an asset pack of kids' toys on the Unity Store. We also have a Patreon, and all of those things will be linked in the description below if you want to support us in any of those ways. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.